Even when your run is going well in day Z, it can turn into a miserable experience when this icon pops up in the bottom right corner. The most common disease is a cold. If your character's temperature is low for a long period of time, you will most likely get sick. Be careful around infected players because this can spread the disease onto you. The symptoms are coughing and sneezing. You can prevent this if your character is well fed, warm, and taking multivitamin pills to strengthen your immune system. If your character got wet, you can also wring out the clothing and this will reduce the chance of catching a cold. If you're already sick, you can cure yourself with tetracycline or by waiting by keeping warm by a fire, keeping your food high and also your hydration level, but this will take longer. If you leave it untreated, it could turn into the next disease on the list, influenza. It will cause fever next to coughing and sneezing. If you have a fever, your vision will go blurry from time to time. The treatment is the same as common cold mentioned before. Make sure to avoid contact with infected players or consume food and drinks which they have been using. This applies to both diseases. The next disease is cholera. You can get infected if you consume unpurified water like lake, pond or stream water. Spawn bottles and canteens have a 50% chance to infect you as well. Symptoms is vomiting. This is very dangerous because each time your character is being sick, your food and hydration level will go down dramatically. It doesn't mean you can't survive it, but it can quickly burn through your resources. You can prevent this by only drinking from water pumps, using chlorine tablets to purify your water from the sources, or even boil them in the cooking pot before you consume it. In case you're already sick, you should eat and drink only a small amount at a time. It's normally about three nibbles. So each time the circle goes around to three bites. If you consume too much food, your character will start vomiting instantly and your situation will get worse and worse. Use tetracycline to cure it or your immune system can fight it off, but it will take a really long time. Getting the medicine should be your priority in this case. Another food related disease is salmonella. Eating uncooked meat or fat, rotten food or with bloody hands can cause salmonella. Symptoms are vomiting, dehydration, severe hunger and blurry visions with loud pain noises. You can prevent this by cooking and not eating raw meat. And of course, always wash your hands before eating. Multivitamin pills are helpful for prevention here as well. If you had no choice but to consume something harmful, use charcoal tablets to cure your character. Eat and drink in a similar way like you did when you had cholera. The next one is a blood infection. This one has two stages. The symptoms are pain sounds, blurry vision, and slow stamina regeneration. At stage two, the symptoms are more frequent, but you will get fever, shaky hands, severe dehydration, and health loss on top of this. If you can't cure it, you will die within 40 minutes of stage two. You can prevent this by using disinfected items to stop your bleeding, such as disinfected rags, bandages, sewing kit. At stage one, even if you treated your wounds with dirty rags or a sewing kit, you can use disinfectant spray, iodine, or alcohol tincture to clean your wounds afterward. You will need tetracycline pills to get rid of the disease if it's into stage two. The last on this list is brain prion disease, AKA Kuru. The symptoms are uncontrollable laughter and shaky hands when aiming. That's via ADS or by hip fire. Unlike the other type of diseases, this cannot be cured. The only way to prevent this is by not consuming human meat or fat. Be very cautious with unknown fat, because unlike the meat, the fat looks the same as animal fat. Highly recommend to just never eat if you don't know the origin of it. 